Kids, if you ever see a van like this in the wild, don't approach it. Us today, however, are going to use it to murder a million different zombies. And whoever else happens to be in the way of our vehicle, I'm really not here to discriminate. For such a regular van, it actually does a lot of destruction. But its fuel tank can't last forever. So naturally, we'll give it better tires and a better engine. This. This is the kind of van you can approach in the wild. Plus we get to ask the zombies what they think of that, and they seem to enjoy it. I wanted to make that whole thing fall down so I could run over the money box. The game even tells me I'm going too slow. The solution to that, more transmission. Now we can hit things so fast they're gonna gooify upon impact. Just guess these guys, or that guy, or these guys. There's just something so satisfying about running people over. Ooh, money box! Got it. That's gonna allow us a booster, and that's gonna sit right up top like a jet engine. Now I can fly! No more using my wheels like some kind of idiot. The engine broke? We don't need an engine, we've got a jet. So we clearly just need more of that. That way when we get bored of life on the ground, we don't need the ground anymore. We can just take to the skies in our flying van. We worked so hard the van lit itself on fire. Decided I might as well save up another 14 million dollars so we could add some armor, which is gonna give us a much cooler van and a lightweight kit. Armor, by the way, comes with a mulcher on the front. For those extra tricky zombies that are just too stubborn to die quietly. This thing really does actually make a big difference though. If you can just gooify the zombies before they actually slow you down, we're going places. We probably need better tires. That takes us even higher off the ground. Well, wouldn't you know it, it's all in the tires. I'm a little sad that our average speed was only 30 miles an hour. To make myself feel better, I'm gonna mulch some more zombies. I'm gonna use these to fertilize my lawn. That's a fun obstacle. We're gonna have to use the jets a lot to get over those, and they're even hanging from the ceiling now. I think I broke the game because the achievements won't stop rolling. I'm pretty sure that's been a thing for a while. What is this wall? Oh, this wall's not gonna defeat me. <laughs> we have a jet. I restarted the game, so in honor of that, let's upgrade our engine and transmission one more time. Because 30 miles an average is not good enough for me. That's gonna keep me up at night. Is the real world like this? Are there explosive barrels everywhere we don't notice? I can't drive more than 30 meters without running into a highly explosive red barrel. Hmm, maybe Maybe it's not the most realistic game after all anyways, says the guy with the enormous machine gun attached to the top of his vehicle. Or the side, whatever, but that's gonna destroy the zombies before I have to touch them with my uh, fresh paint. But bullets do run out and then I do have to scuff my vehicle hitting these idiots, so I'm gonna need better armor. You know what, I think I'm gonna need better everything, especially the money crates. I'm just driving through people's houses at this point, destroying them with my destroyer van. More armor, you say? Why, yes, I think that's a great idea. Let's add armor to the rear. That way it looks cool to anyone following me. I also like to save a lot of my boost for the end, because then once I run out of fuel, I can just use the boost, and then we have no control over where we're going anyway. But I installed the lightweight kit, and now we can almost do a wheelie from a stop. It probably has some other kind of practical applications as well, but I just like doing a wheelie. All things considered, that's very important. This time I feel like we're going places. I thought that would be a lot cooler. We missed a money crate. We're out of fuel, but we're not out of jet power. <laughs> now we're out of jet power. We eviscerated a thousand zombies. Really hope from here it's a straight shot to the next fuel depot, because we're, <laughs> we're already out of fuel. Never mind. I get a good feeling this time. We're coming in at light speed. There's the gas station. Vehicles probably do for a detail, but it's earned itself some even bigger tires. The bigger the tire, the better the vehicle. Now, nothing can stop us. I like how we're shooting zombies that aren't even in our way. We're just having fun with it at this point. And you know what? Who could blame us? We'd all do the same if we were driving this thing. And because we're spreading the zombies around so thoroughly, Beautiful stuff's gonna grow here for years to come. I don't know who our mechanic is, but they did a really good job in the suspension of this thing. It always stays right side up. We can even turn it in air somehow. We're out of fuel, so we gotta use the jets to see how far we can go and what we can break along the way. Sorry. We hit a money crate and eviscerated one last zombie. So we added a little more engine power and a little more fuel efficiency so we can carry our chaos even further. We're spreading the good word across the entire world. That's why we installed a jet so we can fly to other continents. The jets also work really good for those extra resistant stacks of boxes. You can just plow right through them like they don't exist. And that principle also applies to absolutely anything else that might get in your way. There's never been a better 40 year old van anywhere in the world. Out of fuel again, which is a problem we know well. Luckily we have two methods of propulsion. And we're still not making it to the end. But we got $25,000 to spend. So I basically made it faster and more powerful. That's not only giving me the mechanical means, but also the motivation to get all the way to the end. I don't care how many idiots stop me. We're basically riding in a frame at this point. There's no more armor. It's just a man and a steering wheel. And determination. Uh, also my jets fell off, so I'm not going to be able to jet myself at the end of all this. That's never stopped me before, though. We don't need jets where we're going. 
Just kidding, we're in a pile of boxes. I don't know what happened here, but we're uh, more weight efficient now. We've lost the rear end of our vehicle entirely, which believe it or not, isn't super helpful. I feel like at this point, like we gotta be getting close to the end of this level. We're going through a giant tunnel. My engine is broken, but my will to survive is not. I'm gonna jet power my way through this little problem like I do with all of them. That was a really good time to <laughs> use the jet. Apparently we broke the engine, so adding armor in the middle of the vehicle is obviously exactly what we need. Turns out all that extra armor did help, because I made it this far, and we're not supposed to go that way. I get it now, we're supposed to go this way. And then we'll just use the jets to cheese this, and <laughs> then blow up anyway. Think I'm on gnome stretch again, this time I can definitely rock it all the way in there, because there's no more tunnels. We flew right over where we're going. We turned our van into a convertible and made it in style. Plus we got 35 grand. Next we're going to make some improvements to the fire department. To begin with it moves pretty good. It's probably got a lot of weight behind it. And like any good fire truck it's mowing down people in front of it. Definitely could use some better tires though. I feel like I'm mostly just scraping the body along absolutely everything. I'm a little mad the sirens don't work too. That would be so much better. <laughs> but we make do with what we've got like always. And I feel like the weight of this really mulches up the zombies underneath me well. So I think we're going to need obviously going to be some bigger better tires. We'll give myself just a little bit of armor in the front including a big mulchy spike, some extra horsepower, and some extra fuel. Now this is going to be easier. Now we can just mulch the zombies, we don't really have to run them over. We turn them into goo instead and skate through them. And I suppose that also works for whatever boxes or anything are in front of me too, it all gets mulched. And there's a money crate, now we can upgrade ourselves even further. And another money crate, this is a good luck fire truck. Not for the people I'm running over, but for me. I do like the jet booster on this one as well. It feels like a real jet jet. It even looks like a jet because it's so big. You see though, it's really all just about the fuel tank. If you can't get to where you're going, what's the point? You want to make it as far as possible so you get as much money as possible so you can upgrade your toy as much as possible. Even then when you're out of fuel, you can keep going a little bit. A little jet power will hopefully get us right to the next gas station where we can top up our uh, jet once again. Now that we're here and 75 million dollars richer, we're going to make the fire truck a little bit lighter and a little bit faster. Now we'll be crushing zombies with ever more efficiency, especially that guy. He was really standing in a bad spot. I like this level so far, it's very satisfying especially with explosions. The best part is we're gonna create the fastest fire truck in existence and ram it straight into a horde of zombies. I think it's earned bigger tires at this point. And say what you want about tires, but that ground clearance really helps, even as my truck slowly deforms itself into a wrinkled banana. I can never decide if I want to make it faster or have more horsepower. They're both fun, so we'll eventually always get both. We definitely want a rocket version of this thing. Hey, that was cool. I've never been up here before. Uh, there seems to be some kind of roof, so I don't know what the point of that was. Oh, you can get over the top of that. Who knew? You just gotta jump way up there and eat a bunch of explosive barrels. Plus use up all of my boost. Did you know that this is the most expensive fire truck in existence? Because I'm about to spend 75,000 millions to lighten its weight. But that's obviously going to be just the boost we need. Backflip. Turns out that this wasn't good enough for us so we're going to add a little more armor for the rear end. And some more horsepower and fuel efficiency. Get out of my way morons there's a fire somewhere. This is why you get out of the way of a fire truck. This is why you pull over. If the sirens are on and you don't get out of the way, this is exactly what happens. We're making such a mess. We're definitely starting more fires than we're putting out. We're also out of money, but we're not out of jet fuel yet. So let's see what this is going to carry us. Well, those guys got exploded real hard. I think we've earned better tires. That much we know. This way we can just carry our speed a little bit better. I missed the money box. That's okay. We don't need money where we're going. We still don't know where that is yet, but we're going to use rocket fuel to try and get there. This time, nothing can stop us. I can feel it. And we lost our jet engine. That could stop us, but we made it. I've also upgraded our transmission so we have a higher top speed, so when we combine that with our jet engine, we should be going places. And by going places, I mean straight through every living creature in front of us. We're not stopping for anyone. When we slow down a little bit, we use the jets. We're definitely going to need more horsepower. We're going way too slow through all this clutter. We want to go through it at light speed and turn everything into particles. Ooh, I broke my truck in half again. Ah, uh, I lost my jet because of that. I was so excited until I remembered that, but we can do flipsies here now. How useless. I'm a fire truck without any water stuff on board. To remedy that, I added a little bit more horsepower and a little bit more jet power. My theory is that if we do run into a fire, we don't need to spray it with water. We need to ram it at light speed and then it will just dissolve, along with everything in the neighborhood. I've once again misplaced my saw. I think I left it stuck impaled in some zombie somewhere. But I guess if there's ever a place to lose a giant saw blade, it's in the middle of a zombie carcass. 300 miles behind you. Uh oh, we're out of fuel. That was a bad spot. Jet time. Oh, that's so much quicker. 
I should just do that all the way. We may not have a cab, we may not have an engine. We don't have anything at all, but we're gonna get there. I <laughs> look how my idiot is just smashing everything literally with his face at this point. He is the front of the truck, but he's showing it to those zombies. And like concrete buildings and structures, what am I supposed to do there? My engine broke. I lost my booster ages ago, but with a little bit of luck, I'm able to get over this and straight into the gas station, which is just ahead of me. We can do it. Imagine getting paid. 209,000 millions just to drive a fire truck through a bunch of people. One day I'll have a job that cool. For now, we're just gonna make the amazing fire truck. We're even advertising how cool it is. But now, how are people gonna know it's a fire truck? I mean, obviously they can read, but I don't have any sirens. Fire trucks are supposed to be red. This is just false advertising. I guess I'll probably figure it out though when the fire truck shows up and drives straight through them and murders their entire family and keeps going. That point will probably be pretty obvious. This isn't a fire truck anymore. Freedom! I can taste it. We're once again smashing our face through everything. That's how determined this guy is. He's not stopping for anything. Except maybe running out of fuel. We do need that. Out of fuel! Does that count? Yeah, we're there. Sure we are. That looks like fun. So, we know how like a very heavy duty dump truck at our disposal. Even just adding the booster, it's just a giant booster. It's the size of the truck. I feel like we don't even need to upgrade this thing. It's a giant dump truck. It's like a 4,000 ton monster that would just plow through everything. We're gonna need some upgrades. This won't do it all. I mean, it's fun, but compared to my super fire truck, this isn't nearly fun enough. At least it's big enough that it makes an absolute mess of everything it touches. You know, we need it all along with some armor. That's gonna help having a big ass saw in the front. Now we should be able to plow right on through things. Much, much easier, especially zombies. We've only had a few small upgrades so far, <laughs> but it's a pretty nice upgrade for a dump truck. What do bigger tires look like for this thing? Much better. Well, that should help us as we're flying through the air. I think I finally made a determination. You can never have too many upgrades for a dump truck. Especially when their only job is to crush everything in sight and make it to the next gas station. Where we're going to spend the wealth of an entire country on new tires. But that's just an aesthetic thing. They look real good. And they feel even better. There's a zombie so big we actually got jammed on it. It's just a big ball of stupid. It's even so cool when it starts to fall apart. I feel like it's even better this way. It's just tires in a cab. I didn't make it to the gas station this time, but I did get 760,000 millions. Which by shockingly few upgrades. But when you're driving a dump truck this big, I guess it's got to be a little bit expensive. I turned that one into a beach ball. Oh, I followed him along and he led me astray. But we've installed the uh, weight reduction mod, so this way we're going extra quick. No uh, dump box or cab to hold us back. I've officially killed 20,000 zombies. I just got the new achievement. To celebrate that, I broke this saw off the front of my truck. Now we're gonna have to do it the hard way. Just keep smashing through the level again and again, killing zombies, getting little bitty upgrades along the way. Starting to get pretty unstoppable though, we can kind of just keep our momentum. There's very few things that really stand in our way at this point, especially with the jet engine power. We're just uh, evaporating those zombies. I feel like we're mostly just flying and bouncing through the level at this point, like we're not even touching the ground anymore. Our fuel tank is officially as big as it gets. Ooh, my booster's already fallen off. <laughs> we're half a truck. I'm gonna buy the very expensive final weight redistribution. That I believe helps me tear through things even easier. So yeah, we're hardly even slowing down as we hit these things that used to pretty much stop us. We had to that little jet power and we're pretty well unstoppable. We probably also need some extra armor at the rear. I know it sounds stupid but we actually need some armor to protect this thing. I feel like I can just go forever on a tank of gas now suddenly. I don't know what happened but this thing just won't stop. It runs on sunshine. Sunshine and massacre. Next stop wherever we're going. Our transmission is almost fully upgraded as well, so we should be able to go very, very quickly just under engine power. We don't even need the jets. But I am a jet enjoyer, so I am going to use them probably at least a little bit. <laughs> or a lot. I just like how they push you through half the level without you having to think or do anything. We get a lot of money now for making it even halfway. Well, we can finally get the biggest tires. Now we're going to be an even bigger big truck. Now it's starting to look like the complete package. Our tires are so big we're gonna roll right over all the little idiots. I always get so sad when I see a part of the truck's about to fall off so I really try and utilize it before it does. And then we say goodbye. But I don't need a saw blade, this whole truck is a weapon. We don't need a jet, this whole truck is a jet. You really don't need anything when you have a dump truck like this. I don't know what just happened but we exploded and got flung over here. Now we're dead. I think the key to this game is knowing when to use the jets and when not to. Like this is probably a bad time to use it. Jets are any time when you can make you go light speed kind of like that without hitting something. This thing is so quick now though. We got so much power and the transmission's so good we just fly along even without jets. I know what we've been missing this entire time. A giant gun. 
right on the front of the vehicle to further help me evaporate what's in front of me. We're just gonna go ahead and max upgrade that right away. That's better. No zombies won't stop us anymore. We're just gonna shoot them out of the way. That does actually make a really big difference. It just turns them into a bunch of little parts. Now that we've shed the box, we're just a dump truck with a giant gun. This is perfection. Now that we had a little more armor, we should be able to make it right to the end worry free. Nothing is gonna stop us at this point. Nothing. I didn't even need to use my booster in the end. <laughs> I made it there in that rickety thing.